Hi viewers, what is a sieve? It is a tool for separating larger pieces of something from smaller pieces. Okay, what is sieve doing here? Sieve of Eratosthenes is a simple algorithm created by the ancient Greek mathematician named Eratosthenes to find all prime numbers up to a specified integer. Here, we are going to sieve numbers, separating prime numbers and composite numbers. Let us explore the logic and Python code using recursion with the help of the last minute provisor. Get the integer till which you want to find the prime numbers. Read it as n from user. We know that 1 is neither prime nor composite. So starting from 2, note down all the integers till n in a list. Then take the first prime number and remove all its multiples. Take the next prime number and remove all its multiples. If we proceed this way, we can remove all the composite numbers in the list. Since 2 is the smallest prime number, initialize a variable called i to 2. Remove all the multiples of i. Update i as the next prime number, that is the value available next to i in the list. Remove all the multiples of i and update i. Repeat this until i is greater than square root of n. Now only prime numbers remain in the list and so print the list. Consider an example n is equal to 50. Note down all the numbers from 2 to 50. i is initialized to 2. So now the condition to be checked is, is i less than or equal to square root of 50? That is, is 2 less than or equal to 7 point something? Yes, it is true. It is nothing but you are taking the first available prime number that is 2 and removing all the multiples of 2. Next what we will be doing is we will consider the next available prime number that is update i as the value next to i in the list that is 3. So 3 being less than or equal to 7. So the condition is satisfied, so the two statements inside the loop gets executed. Remove all the multiples of i in the list. That is, remove all the multiples of 3 in the list and update the value of i as value next to i in the list. That is, update i as the next available prime number 5. Now, 5 less than or equal to 7. So now, here, this condition is also true. So remove all the multiples of 5 in the list and update i as the value available next. That is the next prime number is 7. Now, 7 less than or equal to 7, that is true. So remove all the multiples of 7 in the list and update i as value next to i in the list. That is, i value becomes 11. Now the condition fails. So, print the list. That is, the remaining elements in the list, which is nothing but the set of prime numbers. Let us code this in Python. How to read the value of n? n is equal to int of input of enter the value of n. Okay. Now create a list with numbers from 2 to n. We can do it using list comprehension like this. Then for doing this process, these four lines, we are going to define a function called primes. So I am Passing i there as an argument and numbers is nothing but the list that we created. n is nothing but the user input. Now, what are we supposed to do here? The condition to be checked is nothing but the process has to be repeated while i is less than or equal to square root of n. So, to find square root, we are using math module, so import the module. So here I am using if because I am going to do this task using a recursion. So what am I supposed to do? Remove all the multiples of i in the list. So when this condition is true, how to remove the multiples of i? For that purpose only, what I am doing is, how can I say the multiples of i? It can be like i. 2i, 3i, 4i, 
phi y six i. That way we can tell it. So we are not actually removing i. That is why here in the for loop, I have given the starting value as two i. So i has to be in the list. It should not be removed. Starting from two i, I must remove like two i, three i, four i, phi i. So that is the reason two into i has been given here and incremented in terms of i. Till which number should I do? I have to go through the entire list. The entire list it contains till n. So that is the reason here I have given it as n plus one. So now, what am I supposed to do for this value? That is for this j value. If it is found, what I should do? I should remove. The reason I have put it in try block is that. Say for example, consider the number six. So when you are considering the prime number two, you will be removing the six being a multiple of two. Now the next possible i value would be three. When you are considering three, six would be a multiple of three, but that six will not be available in the list. If I am trying to remove that six, now. It will be throwing an error because that value six is not found in the list. It has been already removed in the list. So in order to handle this situation, I am putting it in the try block. So in case that number is not available in the list, do nothing. That is why I have given except as pass. Pass will not do any operation. It is just a placeholder. So after removing all the multiples of i in the list. What is our next task? Update i as the value next to i in the list. So now I am finding the index of i. So numbers dot index of i will tell me the index where this i value is current i value is present. So then I am adding it by one and Finding the corresponding value, that is, I'm finding the next i value, the next available prime number using this. So since this is in a if, it will be executed just once. By the completion of this, what am I supposed to do? Again, call this with the new updated i value. So I'm calling the same function primes n numbers i so this is a recursive function call this gets repeated till this condition is satisfied so by the end when the condition fails the list numbers will be containing the prime numbers so return the numbers so this is the function so i need to call the function and Print the result returned by the function. That is the next step. I'm giving it as print primes of n comma numbers comma. I'm initializing the value of i to two through this. So this is the piece of code. This is a sample output run. That's it. To encourage and support this work, do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.